All right, so now let's look at question 12. And this one states, if uh, the summation of the series AN is divergent, then uh, this uh, absolute value of AN is divergent. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. And this is, in fact, true. And uh, this is true because if it wasn't, then the absolute value of uh, this uh, the series right here, uh, summation of AN would be convergent. Yeah, so uh, notice here. So if this is uh, if this series is divergent, so let's say uh, if this was true, if this was divergent, then over here, yeah, then this would be uh, di uh, convergent if it wasn't true. So for example, uh, but then this is absolutely convergent, and then this would make uh, this convergent. So this wouldn't make any sense. So so this is true because if it wasn't, then uh, then absolute value of a n would be convergent. Or I'll say would be absolutely, yeah, it would be absolutely convergent. Uh, hence, uh, hence, then it's going to be convergent. Hence, I'll just put the, it would be uh, absolutely convergent, or I'll just put that in brackets like this. Hence, yeah, hence this also converges. So it doesn't make any sense. also converges. Hence, we have a contradiction. Because yeah, if it wasn't true, so if, if this is divergent, then this isn't divergent, this, is, this becomes convergent, but then this is absolutely convergent, so then the regular one's gonna be convergent, so it doesn't make any sense. So recall from my earlier video, uh, so if a series uh, AN is absolutely convergent, then it is convergent. So you can't have this convergent and this divergent. In other words, if this is divergent, this also has to be divergent. So, but we are given that uh, right here, uh, uh, the summation from a n is divergent, thus the absolute value has to be divergent too. Very interesting.